Good day everyone, I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. Still cool, relatively speaking, along the coast compared to what's going on in the inland areas. We mainly are dealing with fair conditions at this time as high pressure is building in. That means temperatures are going to be relatively hot once again for the Rogue Valley for Thursday and Friday. Also going to be dealing with some winds and the winds are going to be out of the east and northeast. There is a fire weather warning in effect from 11 p.m. tonight through 11 p.m. Thursday. Now this is going to include some of the higher terrain along and to the east and west of the Rogue Valley. This includes the Siskiyou National Forest, the Western Rogue Basin, and the Illinois Valley. This is also going to go all the way down towards the south coast here, covering Curry County, all because we're going to have an east and northeast wind developing tonight and also into Thursday out of the east and northeast again 10 to 25 miles per hour and low relative humidities that is the reason for this fire weather warning in these areas now for the coast low temperatures will generally be in the 40s and 50s so again cool overnight we will have some areas of fog and low clouds possibly into thursday during the day we may see more sunshine breakout with temperatures in the 60s and 70s if we get more of an offshore flow some areas like brookings may get even warmer than what I'm going for right now at 76. Our temperatures for the inland areas will start off cool just like the last uh, several mornings in the 40s and 50s and then highs tomorrow in the 90s to around 100. I'm going with 56 and 100 for Medford. We're going to have clear conditions tonight and sunny conditions tomorrow. However, again, there could be some areas of smoke and haze, especially in parts of Jackson County. Our temperatures, though, east of the Cascades will generally be in the 30s and 40s to start out Thursday morning and highs in the 70s and 80s. Cooler up towards Crater Lake at 49, 69. If you are heading up there, you'll have plenty of sunshine. However, you're going to have to deal with uh, using the sunscreen and staying hydrated either way. Going for 42 and 87 for Alturas. Check out the highs of going for 100 for both Thursday and Friday. That is hot, but they're not records as you see here. Our record high for Thursday in Medford is 106, set 100 years ago, 1916. And the record high for Friday is 104, back in 1924. Right now we're flirting with it, but I am going under the numbers there. By the weekend, highs in the 90s, plenty of sunshine. Next week, we may finally see a trough move in and that may cool our temperatures down into the upper 80s to around 90. Again, there's a lot of question marks here, so please just stay tuned as we get a little bit closer to that time period. Klamath Basin, temperatures in the 80s for highs and some cool starts in the 40s. Again, plenty of sunshine overall over the next several days. Mount Shasta City, plenty of sunshine for you, highs in the 90s. Then maybe cooling down into the 80s by the latter half of the weekend into next week. You can see the cool starts in the 40s to around 50 or so. And for the coast, those will be in the 40s and 50s, highs of the 60s and 70s. Again, there will be some areas of fog and low clouds, especially at night and during the morning hours. But we may see more sunshine, though, break out during the day.